by Kama Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Hafadei Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonah Charfris. thanks so much for tuning in. A great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, I tell you about a 25-year-old model named Stefano Churchill with Guam Ties. A little bit later, we get a recap of party number five, Summer of Sounds with Asha and Victorious. We also give you details about a one-day training that was held by Ryan Gunn of Singapore, which focused on Moet Chandon, Hennessy, and other wines and spirits. And we close out the show tonight with music from Elway. But first things first, make it a point to check out the Art Walk Guam 2 taking place tomorrow at the Chamorro Village. Here's more. <laughs> It's no secret that the island's art scene is full of amazing talent and creative minds. On Friday, July 1st, start off the four-day weekend with Art Walk Guam 2, taking place at the northern side of the Chamorro Village in Havana from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Amber Word is a co-owner of the Guam Art Boutique and one of the organizers of the event. Art Walk Guam is an event that just started. We had our first one about a month and a half ago, and the next one will be this coming Friday. And what an art walk is, is essentially the opportunity for local artists and musicians and um, poets to come together and showcase their work in a free and all ages environment. Word was inspired to bring such an event to Guam after finding out that art walks were popular stateside and throughout Europe. It started, I believe, in Pike's Place in Seattle in the 80s and people, um, it was kind of a bunch of different gallery owners wanted the opportunity to have an open gallery exhibition uh, once a month kind of at the same time to bring a whole bunch of people down and introduce people to new artists in the area. The Art Walk will start off at the Guam Art Boutique. There you will sign up under a small canopy and be given a map and information about the participating artists and shops. She says that she feels really lucky to be on Guam, having jumped into the art scene here. There's so many amazing artists and as you can see with Gax, which just closed up and obviously Festpack and all the amazing artists at uh, Ganya Shopping Center and uh, the new museum, there's so much talent on island that I think that giving people of all ages the opportunity to come and showcase their own work and also to kind of kindle the flame and young artists. We have a lot of new art workshops happening, so there's just there's so much art in the air here that it seems like the perfect time to kind of open up the opportunity for people to come out and enjoy it together. Artists that will be featured include Nina Peck, Fawn Nadine, Miracle McGull, Peter Vaughn, Dorothina Herrero, and Elizabeth Ann Howard. There will be live art from Josh Agerstrand and Marshall Pontilias. Another thing to look forward to is Melancore, which was meant to nurture the growing folk music scene locally. The really cool thing about Melancore is we're mixing in a bunch of original musicians, a lot of folk music, and then we also have some, we've had stand-up comedy before, and then we have some poetry as well. So that's Melancore, and our, our um, performers for Melancore are going to be Serena Mothmix. Daryl Garcia, who a lot of people know as well, Dana Rohr, Isha Gabriel, who is a budding poet here on the island, um, Roman Duenas, who is also a fabulous poet, really amazing kind of cultural poetry, TJ McNulty, which is a staple kind of in the folk, the folky scene here, uh, Mike Peters, also a staple, Jessica Rohr, and I will also be playing for that. Her hopes down the line is that the art scene continues to flourish with every art walk and that more artists and businesses will come out and support, so much so that it expands throughout the capital. All of the revitalization happens down here in Aganya. My big dream and my big hope is to partner with some big names like Gax. And Gax and I are talking right now as well about how to kind of pull in the Gax artists and the Gax scene as well um, and really make it downtown wide, Aganya wide. So we'd love to have. Kaha involved and the museum involved and we'd love to pour a mocha down the street and all of the restaurants and shops here in Chamorro Village. For more information, you can check out Melancore Guam or Art Walk Guam on Facebook. Please come out um, this coming Friday. It's gonna be it's gonna be something you've never seen before. It's an, an opportunity to explore art in a new way. You're not confined into the walls of one gallery or one museum, but you actually get to walk around. It'll be a great way to come out, meet people, meet and greet meet some new folks, see some new art, listen to some new music and some new poetry. It'll be a new, a new type of event. Um, we really hope that it kindles an interest in people and uh, sparks, 
sparks an interest in the art if it's not already there or in, makes it even bigger and more powerful if it already is. <laughs> Don't go anywhere because when we return, we tell you about Stefano Churchill. You're watching In the Mix.